Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about fractions and the first question you might have about fractions is what is a fraction? Well a fraction is basically a division sum. So you have one number on the top, could be one, you have another number on the bottom which could be two and we all know that is a half. What does a half mean? A half means the whole biscuit, this one is a chocolate chip cookie but with blue chocolate chips, so the whole biscuit and it's been divided by two, in other words it's been cut into two. As you can see I'm an expert artist as any of my tutees will tell you. Okay so the fraction means a whole biscuit divided into two halves or you could have the whole biscuit divided into four quarters. Again the expert drawing has come into play here. So, so a fraction is a, a division sum with how many biscuits you had in the beginning and then how many people well, you can also do it how many people you share something by. So, of course we have a question mark there. Right, so what is a fraction? The other way of looking at it is you have a certain number of biscuits and you share it by a certain number of people. So you could have, um, if you had uh, four over two, you could have four biscuits. Again, the expert drawing is going to come into play here. So that means four biscuits shared by two people. And shared equally, of course. So if you give one biscuit to that person, you've got to give one biscuit to that person. One biscuit to that person. One biscuit to that person. So each person has got two biscuits. So that brings us something interesting. If you have a fraction, four over two, that equals two for two biscuits for one person. So two over one is a fraction, but you don't normally write that. So in other words, four over two just equals two. So when we come on to simplifying fractions, you can see that when you simplify a fraction, it may not actually turn out as a fraction, it might turn out as a whole number. Okay, so another way of looking at fractions. So a fraction is always a division sum, which is great, but there's another, there's another little trick to it. Okay, so another way of looking at fractions. Say you have, you've got three quarters. We're going to come into some technical words now. So this, perhaps this word is the most important. This is called the denominator. Denominator. Right, this tells you how many pieces your biscuit or your pizza has been divided into. Okay, so we've got the four there. That means our biscuit or pizza was divided into four. So that's the denominator. This number here is our numerator. Sounds a bit like number, because that's what it is. It's the number of pieces of the biscuit that we actually have. So we divided our biscuit into four, but we don't actually, we have one, two, three pieces who don't actually have that bit of the biscuit. So we have three quarters of a biscuit. If you look at that diagram, everyone kind of knows that as three quarters. So what's happened? We divided our biscuit into four. We took three of the pieces and not the other piece. So that's where the fraction three quarters comes from. 
Okay, so a quick recap on fractions. So fractions are a division sum where we've got the number here divided by the number here. There's different ways you can think of a fraction. You can think of a fraction as, a, like we said, a division sum. You can think of it as three biscuits or a certain number of biscuits shared by a certain number of people. Or you can think of a, a pizza that has been cut into a certain number of pieces, for example, four, and we've got three of the pieces. So that's our introduction to fractions. Thank you for watching that video. And if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is www.roots2success11plus.uk or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.